Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about identity column or auto increment column in Oracle database. So idea about identity column, so it is a special type of column that is used to automatically generate key values. So let's understand by example. So idea going to open Oracle SQL plus. So right here I have two version. First is Oracle 11C and 18C. So one more thing, oh, identity column features that added after Oracle 12C. So this will not work inside Oracle 11C. So I'm going to use right here Oracle 18C. So let's open right here SQL plus. Now here after let's uh, give the username. So going to enter with system user and whatever the password you have. So just enter. So it's connected with Oracle database agency. Now let's understand the uses of Oracle identity columns in Oracle agency. So I have first time going to create one new table. So right here create table and here giving the name employee and here after id so it should be no number tag and here to write or to generate any column identity so add here add here write gene Generated, generated, always as I then dt. Now here after let's so this id column I used I make uh, add here identity column so generated always as identity. Now here after let's create another table name. So, add here, this would be varchar, giving the size 55. Now, here after, one more column, creating as. So, it's a number here. Now, let's press enter. So, table created successfully. Now, here after, going to insert the record inside employee table. So, add here, write insert, enter. A and employee employee and here I'm not going to pass the value of ID okay so add here going to use name and is column and here passing the values of name and is so name add here giving Adam and here is 25 now let's press enter. So one row inserted. Now here after going to insert the next row. So add here going to use length the name and is 23. Press enter one more row inserted. So if you see the record, so let's write at here select a star from employee. So see and here, I did not enter the value for ID, but it's coming one two. So like that, to that continue on one two next time that create three four five six seven eight nine ten. So it will continue on. So this is the use of identity. So it's just acts as a primary key. So primary key in any table, primary key should be unique. So add here or oh, identity it's all values generated unique value so next time that generate two so that means identity or oh, column values start with one and hereafter increase by one now let's insert one more records insert into so let's give add here giving the name song and here giving the is 29 press enter so one row inserted. 
Now check the record. So see right here. This time, one, two, three. So it's all all sequence. Now here after I'm going, I'm trying to enter or add here going to pass ID values. So ID and here going to enter add here four. So let's see what happened. So add here I'm getting the error message. The reason of error message is cannot insert into generated always. So because add here I said where I get the table. So at that time. I say it at here or generated always as identity. So that means you cannot insert any, you cannot pass at here ID parameter or ID values. So if you use at here generated always identity, so it will start with one like that. Whenever you insert any record, so this will uh, create one ID in sequence like one, two, three, four. So like that way that continue on so idea I'm, I'm gonna pass ID values also so for this we need to do one thing so add here first I'm going to copy this to save some times now here So at here going to create one new table. New table going to create and this time so at here going to use generated by default. So by default as identity. Now here let's copy that one. And uh, now paste. So this new column I'm going to create it with the name employee one. So table created. Now here after let's insert the record. So insert into add here employee one. So first I'm not going to pass ID here. So I am going to use lit and so one row inserted. Now here after let's insert one more row. So going to give add here Adam and uh, passing the S29. Now let's just check the record. So add here select a star from employee one. So two records I added. Now here after let's insert the records. So this time add here insert ID. So going to insert the ID and here going to pass the value 4. Now here and let's give some a standard name lit already there. So and here going to enter sound. Now let's press enter. So cannot insert into always identity column. Okay. Okay. I have to change the name. So employee is the always identity. Now let's keep employee one. So by employee one, I created default as identity. Press enter. So see I have one row inserted. Now let's check the record in employee one. So see I have one to four. So if you are going to use add here. So by default, so then you can enter or you can pass add here any values of ID. You can also pass the values, but if you said always generated, so you cannot pass ID values. So this is the difference between that two. Now here after the next thing is, so when I'm trying to enter null values. So add here insert into your ID. So add here at that place going to pass null. So add here I am getting the error message. Cannot insert into generated always identity. 
here. So you cannot enter any null values in gen uh, generated always identity and uh, here let's uh, write to at uh, employee one and here cannot insert null into so if you create to identity column like uh, here by uh, default as identity so you cannot insert added uh, null values so null we cannot enter so how can we use how can we enter any null values so for this we have to create the table id or number generated by so add here by default on so add here you have to use on and here null then you can insert any null values inside id also so copy that one and paste here so see here table it's created now here after going to insert the record so insert into so i just created the table with the name employee two. so if you pass so see at here it's accept the null values so if you don't give any null values so it also accept so let's pass at here fine and here let's so pass at here so going to pass one so you can enter duplicate values also now here after eight now here after see the records so select a star from i just created new table name employee 3 now here or uh, just created the name employee 2 sorry so see right here it's so uh, one five uh, eight nine and i inserted one new values with the name of null okay so on 23 so when i enter add here null so it accept the values of uh, add here one now let's uh, do one more thing insert one more time null so going to insert the name or uh, employee to id name here null values so let's see what happened so one row inserted and here check the record select employee to so see and here after that when i try to insert null values so it to generate the id to so here after that generate the id to so that means if you uh, set any a column identity so you cannot insert the value null here so it will generate some numeric system generated numeric values so this is the things about the identity or auto increment column in oracle database so this new features added in oracle 12c after oracle 12c so you cannot use this feature in oracle 11c so I'm using Oracle ATC here. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.